Success! This way your face is like this. Are you sick? No. Are you hungry? No. Hey! Eh? Wonder shall never end. Eh? You at your age. Hey! There's not now not seeing this life. Ah, uh, Uncle, what happened now? Success! So you had a breakup. Breakup, Kwa. Yeah. Uncle, please, I'm a swap picking. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hmm. Better not know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Okay. Success. Tell me, what is really the problem? Uncle CM. Mm-hmm. Mante asked me a question in class today. And I got it right. But she still punished me and flogged me. Uh -uh. Again? Yes. Hey! I've reported her to the principal, but the principal was supporting her. I don't, I, I don't know what is wrong with this, your teachers and your principal, eh? Do they want me to remove you from school and put you into business, eh? But wait, though. Are you sure you got your auntie's questions correctly? Yes. Okay, tell me, what, what did she ask you? Uncle Sim, why she told us that living things are things that have life in them? Why not living things are things that don't have life in them? Mm -hmm. So she now asked Chibike to give her examples of living things. So Chibike now said animal. Mm -hmm. So she now said I should give her example of non-living thing. So I now said human being. <laughs> she now said, <laughs> See, yeah, it's like something is wrong with you, like you don't have sense. So all this time you'll be going to school, you just there to be wasting money. In fact, I'm going to call your father and report you to your father. Eh? How would you say that human being is a non-living thing? When they already told you that non-living things are things that doesn't have life and living things are things that have life. Okuweto, I think we are a human being. Yes, I'm a human being. Do you have life? What do you mean? Okusie, living things are things that have life. Why not living things are things that don't have life in them? Okuasi are like this. You don't have life. <laughs> Look at where you're living. Just like you do. Okuwa fit it in today. I think hunger is catching you. <laughs> I think you know that living is supposed to be eaten. And you, you are not eating. <laughs> oh, see, you are a non living thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, sister, are you talking to me? <laughs> oh, wait. I know you want to beat me. But I want you to think first. There's a difference between being alive. And having a life. <laughs> okay, see you. My daddy and Okuma. In fact, everybody in Nigeria is a non living thing. Yes. Because our president is. In fact, let me not go into politics. <coughs> Don't worry, 2023 is coming. If people will like you, should use your voter's card and do rubbish again. <laughs> One dollar soon with 2,000 naira in this country. <laughs> 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 Emmanuel and success. Uncle, good, afternoon. good afternoon. Uh, where has uh, Uncle David gone to? His door is locked. Where has he gone to? Uh, he's coming. He went to buy something. You can wait for him. Okay, let me wait for him. Ah ah, Uncle. Go and carry China. Um, don't worry, I'm okay here. Let me sit down and wait for him. Hmm. Okay. Eh, uh, hey, so says, what are you even saying? I said, yes, I want to go to boarding school, but I don't know the one I want to go to. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Why boarding school? Mm -hmm, nah. You don't know that if you go to boarding school, you will not be able to shoot comedy again. Mm. I don't want to shoot comedy again. I want to be shooting comedy. Mm -hmm. There are so many day schools around that are very good. It's just that some of them are very expensive. Like the one that my friend is going to in Lekki. The school is very fine, but it's very expensive. But our father is rich. Oh. The school is to take them for excursion in Dubai. And their school uniform is very beautiful. But the school fees is very expensive. How much is the school fees? The school fees is 4 million naira. Hey! Emanuela! Uh -uh. What kind of lie is that? 
Eh? You saw people to be inside the house reading your books or doing your assignment. You're sitting on outside under this hot sun and you're lying. Look at the kind of lie you're telling. What kind of school is formula now? Yet the school is not popular. Nobody knows the school. But, Keep quiet. Don't lie again for me. Stop lying on me, Manuela. I'm not your mattress. You're lying. <laughs> See, there's no school that is formula naira. There are other good good schools that are 150,000 naira, that are 50,000 naira. We are hearing about them. How come we are not hearing about this one that is 4 million naira? Eh? See, let me tell you, if there's any school like that that is 4 million naira, our politicians will not be flying their children outside to go and study. Even if it is heavily language the school is teaching. See, let me tell the both of you. Nobody can do that kind of a thing. Even God cannot do that kind of a thing. Because that is typical wickedness. And anything that God cannot do does not exist. Uncle. She, anything God cannot do doesn't exist. Uh huh. It doesn't exist. Uncle, God cannot lie. Does lie exist? Oh. I answer, Mr. No It All. Eh, well, we are not talking about lies here. We are talking about schools. Eh, hey, Manuela, you're too young to be lying. Stop lying. Eh, uh-huh. David, thank God you're here. Please come. David, who is teaching this student how to lie like this? Why would children be sitting down out here and be lying on at this hot afternoon? Emanuela is saying that there is a school in Lekki that is 4 million naira and yet we don't know the name of the school. Um, Emanuela, what kind of lie is this one now? Eh? If you people don't know what to say, just go inside and sleep now. Eh? Once you talk, can't you see son? That is what I told them. You see that they go inside and do the assignment or they find somewhere to sleep? Uh-huh. If there is a school in Nigeria that is 4 million naira, how come you don't know the school, I don't know the school and the school is not popular? My brother, don't mind them, eh? Expensive school that is not popular. Is that one expensive school? <laughs> Let's go inside, Joe. Sorry for keeping you My brother, knock your door, Abe. Uncle, you are right. The school is not popular. That is exactly what Among the poor. Eh? That is the school, Let's go. Emanuela. Did you call me poor? No, Uncle, I'm not calling you poor. I'm just saying that poor people do not know expensive schools. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 Emanuela. Are you literally calling us poor people? No, Uncle, I'm not calling you poor people. I'm just saying that poor people has no business knowing expensive schools. <laughs> My brother, she called us poor. Uh, you call me poor. You uh, hold me. Uh, what kind of rubbish is this one now? Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Hmm. Hey, baby. Eh? It's like you backslided, do. How? Have you changed church? No. I've not been seeing you in church now. So what happened? Why have you not been coming to church? Um, it's nothing. My sister, you need to start going to church too. Do you know what people have been saying about you? They say you have started joining the people of the world and be walking up and down. Uh-uh. Ha. Me. The news is all over. Oh. Me, I'm telling you my own. If you die now, you will go to hell fire. Oh. And me, as I'm looking at you like this, eh? You look like a sinner to me, oh. <laughs> eh, I'm not a sinner, oh. Please, stop. Eh, start going to church now. Do you know if you die tomorrow now, you will go to hell fire, eh? At least just secure your name in the book of life. Start going to church, I beg. Don't tell me you're not a sinner, I beg. Abby. Eh, now, start going to church. Eh, somebody's even inviting me to church this Sunday, oh. Eh, go to church. But somebody's inviting me to Dubai this same Sunday. And the person has arranged my papers and flight ticket. So, what are you trying to say? You will leave church and go to Dubai. Eh, which one do you think I should do? You're asking me what I think you should do. Leave that Dubai and go to church, Joe. Uh-uh, are they sharing rest in that Dubai? Eh, and then can go there? Don't you know that anything that takes the place of God in your life is an idol? My dear sister, please go to church and leave that Dubai. What if you're going to Dubai now and you now have plane crash on the road. <laughs> Don't you know it's hellfire you're going to? Uh-uh. Why do you like thinking negative? No, negative? me, I'm telling you, I like thinking randomly. Oh. Ha. You're my friend. I cannot allow you die a shameful death. <laughs> Success. Yes, mommy. Come. Leave that Dubai and go to church. Me, I'm telling you my own. And what I'm telling you is the truth. Go and get me my nail filer inside. But mommy, I'll just come from inside now. What do you mean? My friend, will you get inside and get me my nail filer? <laughs> Ah, uh-uh. can't I send you a message again? That boy that is calling you to Dubai, do you know how he got his money? I beg, I beg, Vicky, I don't like the way you're sounding. I'll ask somebody else. Okay. No, wala. Mama so says, good afternoon. Ah, uh-uh, ah, iPhone baby, good afternoon. Please excuse me. Hope there's no problem. Yes, there's no problem. 
Ok, oh. Mama so says, please do. Assuming somebody is inviting you to church. Mm-hmm. And another person is inviting you to Dubai that same Sunday. Mm-hmm. The person has arranged for everything, bought your flight ticket. Mm. Please, what will you do? <laughs> eh, it's not as if I don't want to go to church. Oh. But then, I've been going to church since. And Dubai is a place I would really love to go to. So, if I get this kind of opportunity, <laughs> me, oh, I will go to Dubai. Abby. And leave church, married woman. Ha! Look at the kind of advice that you're giving to a young girl like this that is full of life. All right. Eh? It's women like you that is spoiling our generation, no? Eh? So now you're telling her to leave church and go to Dubai. You want her to miss her future husband in that church, eh? If you were behaving like this, will you see your husband and marry, eh? Is your husband aware that you can follow a man and go hey. to Dubai? Eh? See me see problem, oh. So you're telling this girl like this that it's fine like this to leave church and go to Dubai. You want that she to go now, she will not go and die and go to hellfire, eh? Leave church that she will go and serve God and look for her future husband and go to Dubai. Master says, you save that is talking, do you go to church? When last did you go to church and serve God? Eh! Hey, don't insult me, my friend. I'm not insulting you, me, I'm telling you the truth, oh. Don't be giving people rubbish advice. If you don't have anything to say, just go. We ask for simple advice. I did not say she should come and tell her nonsense. Is it not my opinion you ask? I did not say she should not go to church. I'm just giving her No, 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 no. You're not telling her the correct thing to do. You're telling her to leave God and go and follow man in Dubai. Hey. <laughs> if it's like that, will you be married by now? Please, if you don't have advice to give to her, close your mouth. Married woman like you need any advice in the zoo. Yes, you see, wear big clothes and stand there and be saying nonsense. So it's me that is saying nonsense. Yes, so if you don't know what to say or you don't have advice to give to her, close your mouth and stop giving rubbish advice. Married woman like you, what kind of thing is coming out from, from your mouth? Uh-uh. Mommy, what happened? Success, see me, oh. Is this auntie that called me this afternoon just to insult their elder sister? Uh-uh, auntie, what happened? See you, success. Somebody invited me to church. But another person is inviting me to Dubai that same day. And the person has arranged my flight ticket and everything already. And I'm telling her to leave that Dubai trip and go to church. Go to church because like this, as I'm seeing you, your name is in the book of death. Uh-uh. Ebere, you need to go to church so you will not die and go to hellfire. I say, Ebere, you need to go to church. Oh, 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 she has told you. But auntie, is there no church in Dubai? Eh? Oh ho! <laughs> what if your future husband is in Dubai? Oh ho! Mommy, let's go. It's people like you that want to use religion and scatter this country. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Don't mind her. <laughs> Mrs. John the Baptist, aka Assistant Jesus Christ. Church rat. Huh. Mommy, let me fall and take her to Dubai now. My friend, go inside. You fall and Vicky and go to church. <laughs> So says, stop now. So says, just make this one for me. You know I'm not eating this morning. Hmm? Hey. So says, please now, nah. please now. Nah. Eh? So says, so says, this is not fair. This is not fair. Oh. Eh? I'm your uncle, oh. I'm your uncle. Success. Please now, nah. if you finish this food, which one will I eat? So says, it's not fair. Now nah. see, I'm not eating this morning. I'm not eating this morning. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> it's success. So, 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 success. What's happening here? Act him. Ha! Huh? Brown, talk to me. Talk to me. I'm your man. Is she trying to blackmail you? No, she's not. Uh-uh. What's the challenge? See, this morning, when I was looking for somebody that will uh, buy bread for me, uh-huh. then I came out in the compound and I didn't see any other key. Emanuela! Miracle! Dominion! Emanuela! Hey. 
success. Yes. I need to help me and buy something. Okay. What should I buy for you? Bread 150. Oi. Yes, take. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Is it that she didn't buy what you asked her to buy? She bought it. Then what happened? Ask her. Come, success. What happened between your uncle asked you to buy? Uncle Sam. Uh huh. I was on my own today. Uncle Kebra told me to go and buy bread for him. Mm hmm. And I went and I bought the bread. Then I came back and gave it to him. Uncle take. My change. Mm. Look where is the enter transport? Ta! You that was sent from here to Aba, you're going to use this your leg and go and come back. My friend, when do you start entering transport? Give me my change. Uncle, okay, you send this small picking message, but you don't find the small picking something. Hey, see, success. We're not doing this thing this year at all. Give me my change. Give me my change. I'm not giving you. Success, I'm not playing with you. Give me my change. Uncle, okay, leave this one for me now. You want me to leave this one for you? Mm. I should leave it for you. Yes. On one condition. If I ask you a question and you get it correctly, you take it. But if you fail it, I'll collect back my money. Do you agree? Mm. Okay. Good. Success. Mm. If I start working with three legs, what am I? Mm -hmm. You see? Give me my money. Uncle Beto, if you start working with three legs, mm -hmm. that means... You are an old man. Mm. So you give me my money. To. What is it? I want to ask you a question. Which question? Uncle Shane, if you answer this question, I'll give you your money. But if you not answer it, I'll not give you your money. Oh, oh yeah, ask. Okay. Circle. Success? What is this? I tried to play Charlie Charlie with me. Oh no! You're not Charlie Charlie. Oh. Just enter inside the circle. Mm. Mm -hmm. I could see it. If I mention the name of a bed, you come this way. If I mention the name of a country, you come this place. If I mention the name of a food, you come forward. Okay. I could prefer this question. I will not give you your money, yo. And I'll eat this bread. For what? I didn't know not. It's like you're not doing. Oh, yeah. Come and ask. Come and ask. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Toki. Which Toki? Toki, now. Which talk are you talking about? Talky talky. <laughs> talky. <laughs> Success, wait. Oh, wait. If we cross this line to collect this bread, without answering my question, I'll call my mommy and my daddy and tell them that you have been treating me. <laughs> See, they let me with you. I know what that means. <laughs> success, success, please now. Nah. Hey. Mm. <laughs> success. See, see, I've, I've not eaten today. Oh. See, this is only bread I'm going to use in eating the indomie that I have inside the house. Oh, you even not have indomie. Hey. <laughs> so as I finish eating the bread, I'm inside the kitchen and carry the indomie. Keep going. Mm? You mean you've been standing here since morning? I was saying yes this morning. And I've not eaten anything, no. I've not eaten anything. Hi. Jo, just calm down, eh? Bo, 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 success. Since you have finished eating the food, why don't you at least tell him the answer so he can go inside and go and rest? Uncle, I did not say he cannot go inside and go and rest, though. <laughs> but. Are you not the one that said if he leaves the circle that you call your parents and tell them that he is maltreating you? Ah. Uncle, that is not what I said, though. <laughs> leave the circle without answering my question to come and collect the bread for me. I don't say he cannot go somewhere else. Ha. Ha. Go inside now. 
What about the 15 naira? You mean you will stand here six months because of this 15 naira? Huh? 15 naira? You are the number one member of Stingy Men Association. You don't even need ID card. Because you are the oracle. If you don't need that stick on ground, it be like sofa, not the tire. This thing, this thing, please, please help me collect the 15 naira. Come, 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 come